we're going to talk concealing. So when we conceal the skin, we're normally concealing two different problems. One is when we have an indent in the skin, where we have something that's sunken below the surface. That's normally a problem we have under the eye or if we have a pocket or a little scar. And the other thing that we conceal is raised bumps, so like blemishes, like any scarring or sometimes little moles on the face. So it's important to know not to use one colour to do this. You need to use two and I'll explain. Anything below the skin surface, you want to use a concealer that's one or two shades lighter than the skin, than your foundation. Because what this will do, when you use something that's lighter, it actually will pull forward and even out the surface. However, if you use that same concealer on a raised bump, you'll actually highlight the problem. So I'm just going to go through and lightly conceal areas that need to be lightened. It's also a great anti-aging technique too, because concealing is lightening. So not only do I use this to cover any indentation, I also use this technique to make women look younger. And how I do that is, is I lighten areas that flatten as we age. And these areas are commonly the centre of the forehead. So when we're young, we have a nice rounded forehead. But when we get older, we get a little bit flatter here. And I automatically do this, no matter what my model's age, because all it's going to do is make them look younger. And I, there's not a woman out there that doesn't want to look younger. Another place I like to lighten is this outer corner of the eye. This is an area when we age, it gets sunken in. And also the temple area. So if you notice that your temples are a little bit concaved, lightly lighten that area. Another area is in this corner of the nose. Again, as we age, this can come in and get quite flat. So you can lighten through here, lightening under the chin here. As women get older, our chins actually turn up. So what I'm doing is I'm lightening this area here to pull that out. And if there's any little scars on the skin, I will then go through and lighten. You'll notice, though, I'm not going to use concealer all the way across the eye like I know we all get taught. The reason is this part of the skin doesn't need concealing. Also, it's very flexible. So if you put heavy product there, it's just going to crease. Foundation is enough for those areas. And look down. I also conceal in this part of the eye here where we get quite dark. But you'll notice I'm not concealing over the whole eyelid again. The reason for that is concealer is quite thick and on the eyelids it's just going to crease. The skin on your eyelids is so thin it doesn't actually handle product. And I'm just lightly pressing with my finger. Either my finger or a light brush. You don't want to rub this product and move it, you just want to press it into place. And then any raised bumps, I'm going to take a concealer that matches her skin tone and then hit those areas. And if you have the tiniest of marks, you can actually use an eyeliner brush. What's important is that you don't put concealer on the good skin around the blemish. You only want to just hit the blemish. Concealer is one of those products too that can tend to move, as in blemish skin seems to fight the product. What I mean is if you have a pimple or a spot and you put concealer on it, it's normally the first thing to come off because the skin gets reactive to it. It starts to secrete oil and pushes the product off. So just carry a concealer with you because it's something you may need to reapply. Eyes up for me. And look straight. 